Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. Before we move on to any further details, I would really love to thank you all for your enormous love and support. In case you haven't subscribed yet, I mean, what are you waiting for, guys? Hit that subscribe button now. Also, please don't forget to press the bell icon. And also, if you enjoy the content and want to be a part of our inner circle, consider supporting us on Patreon. It's where we share exclusive behind-the-scenes content, early access, and connect with you on a more personal level. Please, check the link in the description. Let's start the video now. A royal correspondent says that although Prince Harry is scheduled to visit the UK for the Invictus Games anniversary, more should be done to win over the British people. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are facing calls to do more to enhance their standing in British public opinion as they prepare for a return visit to the UK next month. The urgency for a popularity boost comes as Prince Harry is scheduled to attend a significant service at St. Paul's Cathedral on May 8th, marking the 10th anniversary of the Invictus Games. The Invictus Games, which were co-founded by Prince Harry and launched in London in 2014, have been a beacon of resilience for sick and injured servicemen and women. While Prince Harry's attendance is confirmed, it remains uncertain whether Meghan Markle will accompany him. A recent poll conducted by YouGov sheds light on the couple's current standing in British public opinion. According to the results, Prince Harry is favored by 31% of those surveyed, whereas Meghan Markle lags behind with only 21% favorability. Royal correspondent Cameron Walker, speaking on GB News, remarked that the couple still has some way to go in winning over the British public. This sentiment is in stark contrast to the overwhelming support garnered by Prince Harry's sister-in-law, Kate, Princess of Wales. Despite undergoing cancer treatment following her diagnosis, Kate received favorability from an impressive 76% of the 2004 adults polled. However, as anticipation builds for Harry's return, concerns have been raised about a potential overshadowing of the Invictus Games anniversary event. Critics fear that Meghan Markle's presence could steal the spotlight, diverting attention away from the intended focus. The forthcoming visit serves as a pivotal moment for Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, offering them an opportunity to reconnect with the British public and redefine their public image. As they navigate the complexities of royal duty and personal pursuits, the couple faces the challenge of striking a delicate balance between tradition and modernity, while also addressing the expectations of a scrutinizing public. With preparations underway for the commemorative service, all eyes are on Prince Harry and Meghan Markle as they endeavor to navigate the intricate landscape of royal responsibilities and public perception. As the countdown to their UK return continues, the question remains, will they succeed in winning over the hearts of the British people? So, what do you think about this news, guys? Write down in the comments what you think and let me know. Until then, guess we'll just have to wait and see if things turn out to be something after all. Also, if you never want to miss any of my sizzling royal updates like this, subscribe and press the bell icon. As simple as that. So, until the next time, hasta la vista!